All right, so here I have my Electrohome 12 inch oscillating fan. This one is one of two of these fans that I have. Uh, this one's the second gen model with the more tightly spaced back rail. So in this video, I'm going to be taking it apart because I just pulled it out to start using it in the spring. And this fan actually has a pretty cool mechanism inside for the oscillator. So I decided this would be a good time to film that while I have it taken apart. So let's get started. There is one screw holding the back cover on, so we'll take that off. Screw is out. And this fan does not have an oscillator knob at the back, so the one screw is all you need to remove. And now the back cover comes right off. Okay, so here we have the motor. It's a very beefy PSC. There's the capacitor. And it's got oil ports, and there's the one at the back, and there is one other up at the front. You can't really see it. You have to take the front um, motor cover off in order to access it. And uh, this oil port is actually very cool because inside there are two channels that deliver oil to both the bearing itself and the felt wick. So I actually drew a diagram here showing how it works. So this is the oil going in. And there's a division in the channel where half of it goes into the felt wick while the rest goes directly to the bronze bushing. And you can actually kind of see it if I zoom in there. Eh, it's very hard to notice, but there's a little channel right there where the oil separates and half of them goes to the bushing, which you can see right there, and the other half goes into the felt wick. And I think that's a very cool concept. So this fan gets a lot of oil that gets right into the bearings and also stored into wicks for long-term lubrication. And the same thing is happening with the front bearing as well. And these windings, they're actually pretty decent gauge wires. And all the original wiring is in great shape, perfectly intact. And of course, the coolest thing about this fan is the oscillating mechanism. So what we have here is a spring-loaded wire cable system where this is the wire cable going to the knob at the base and inside of here there is a spring that holds up this little gear and when you turn the knob this cable gets released and it drops this gear which locks the worm gear from the motor shaft to the drive gear. So I'll show you how that works. If I have to turn the knob, you can see that little plastic gear dropping into position. And there's the spring inside there. And vice versa, if I turn the knob the other way, it lifts it so the gears disengage. So that's a very cool mechanism. Um, very few fans have it, but I'm glad that this one does. It's a really nice, nice piece to have in my collection. Okay, so I just finished oiling it, put some oil down the oil port, and for the front, I didn't feel like taking the front cover off, so I just oiled the spacer in there, let it soak in a little bit, and now it's time for a reassembly. Perfect.